Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Julie and I do handbag reviews. If you're not new, welcome back guys. It's so great to see you again and thank you so much for joining me in another video. So, on my Instagram the other day, I did a poll of if you'd like for me to do my whole handbag collection or if you'd like for me to do a handbag superlatives tag. Well, I don't have the time right now to film a handbag collection. I'm gonna do both. So I thought I would go ahead and first start with handbag superlatives tag. And I'm gonna go ahead and start this tag video now. If you want to join with me in the tag, would love for you to do it. I'm gonna tag a lot of people in the description box below, a lot of friends of mine. It is so much fun to do this. What it means is, what superlatives means is you have 10 categories that your bags can fall into, like most used, least used, um, most expensive, least expensive. So I'm gonna have 10 categories. I'm gonna put them down below so it's easy for you guys to do this tag video yourself. And we're just gonna keep it rolling. This is not brand specific. I did one about two years ago for all my coach bags and it was just the coach superlatives tags. This is gonna be open to all brands. So it's gonna be basically your whole entire collection can fall into these categories. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the first category. Um, I don't wanna keep this too long. So I do wanna just go through these categories, go through the bags. There's a total of 10 of them, okay? So let's just get started. Okay, so the first category is your least used bag. So for me, in my collection, that would have to be my Coach 1941 duffel here. It's so beautiful. I just don't reach for it that much. And I think it's just because green's not necessarily like one of my ultimate favorite colors, but I really, really, really love this bag and I don't wanna ever get rid of it. It's 1941. I have this resin chain on it, but it does come with a regular shoulder slash crossbody strap and it has the jacquard interior there's many different versions of a duffel that coach makes um some have different sides here that are like more of a buckle style this one is just the clasp and dog leash style strap connector it has the tassel um has the stamping on the bottom but yeah i just don't use this one that much um I have quite a few bags. This is just my, more than likely my least used bag to start off with. So beautiful bag, not selling it. I love it so much because the glove tan leather is so scrumptious and I love the brass hardware. So least used bag. Okay, moving on to my most used bag. So going the complete other way, most used bag, I have a few, but I think that this one could be my most used bag, which would be my Black Pillow Madison by Coach. She's so neutral, so perfect, and I love the black gunmetal with the black. The black on black combination is so pretty. The Pillow Madison is such a good user-friendly bag. To me, I like it more than like a Cassie or um, yeah, any of those other flap style bags, I just like the quilting so much. And that's why I think I may like that new chain tabby that has just been released. So TBD on that one when it comes back out in the spring. I just don't love the colors that they have out in that bag right now, but I just really, really like Pillow Madison's. I think that there's a lot of room in them and I really like this magnetic back pocket for my phone. It closes so nicely and securely. And the other thing I just really love about this bag is this double flap compartment. Um, I love this soft lining and I love this. Um, my card holder goes right there in the front and it slaps shut and it's perfect. And then there's still so much room inside this bag. So it's a good one. I am so, <laughs> obsessed with pillow madisons i have this one i have my orange one but this is by far my most used um my most used bag in my collection i think i would say that the third category is what is your most ladylike bag in your collection so the ladylike bag the most ladylike bag that i have in my collection would have to be this one right here 
It's very dainty, the Sammy 21, and it has the cute little top handle, and it is just very, very ladylike. It's absolutely beautiful. The leather is very structured. That lends to it being a little bit more ladylike probably too. It has loads of room on the inside. The Sammy bags are made so well. Um, I like the feet on the bottom. You can carry it just by the top handle. I do wear this crossbody a lot of times with the strap that connects in. And it does look a lot kind of like a little mini Kelly, which is a very more on the ladylike spectrum, I guess you could say. Men carry ladylike bags all the time and I love it. So it doesn't matter what sex you are, you can carry whatever bag you want. Um, but yeah, this one lends to being more ladylike and that's what cat that's one category I wanted to um, bring into this tag. In fact, that was in the last one as well. So I thought I would go ahead and share this beauty as my most ladylike bag. All right, so the next category would be the most complimented bag. And it's actually my most recent, one of my most recent purchases. This bag, you guys, has gotten so many compliments. One, my own father, who's 78, who put the bag on himself, crossbody the other day. He's like, I love this bag. My mom loves this bag. One of my clients was like, oh my God, I love that bag. I have it in orange. Um, just, you know, I think three, four, five compliments within a two week time period is pretty good. Um, but yeah, this bag gets so many compliments. It's just, I think the words, the tote bag kind of brings those compliments out to you. But this color is so beautiful. It just matches everything. Like today I'm using it, this, all my stuff's inside of this bag and it goes perfectly with denim. It's a beautiful all year round color. I, I'm obsessed with this bag. So yes, I'm absolutely in love with it. It's very complimented. She's a good one. She's here to stay. And I took it to parent teacher conferences with me today and I just carried it like this and it's beautiful. I love it. So my most complimented bag. All right. The next category is the most viewed bag on your YouTube channel. So for me, the most viewed uh, video I have is the comparison of my Longchamp nylons in a size small. So this bag is in that video and it is the Longchamp size small top handle. Um, there's just such a curiosity, I think, about these bags because there's not a whole lot of Longchamp stores around people. So they order them online. And in order to get your information, you have to go to YouTube about these bags. So that's why I think that Longchamp gets so many views. But yes, this one is like one of my last few small top handles that I've actually kept because I'm obsessed with this color. I love blue turquoise. It's so beautiful. The leather, I'm sorry, the nylon feels so soft and smooth and you know, when I use this tote style, I just, a lot of times just keep this open. I like the black interior, honestly, cause it doesn't get dirty on this particular color, but you can just kind of wear them like this. You don't even have to do them up. They're just such good bags. So, and they're very reachable on price point. Like this one, I think retails for like 125, not bad, not bad at all. So long shop, le pliage. They're good, they're very durable, and they're stylish, you know? They're entry level to luxury, and um, they're a French brand, just such, such beautiful bags. And this is from the Green Collection, so it's made with recyclable materials. So, most viewed bag on YouTube is this one. Okay, so for this one, this category, this is kind of controversial, but it is your most expensive bag in your collection. So this one retailed at the most expensive level of all my bags, but I didn't pay that price, but I am going to call it my most expensive bag, um, just because of the retail price. Um, 
but yes, it would be my Coach Mint and Surf Bandit here. So when these came out in this line, the collaboration with Mint and Surf, a lot of these bags were really expensive. So I want to say like, I think this one retailed for $7.95 in the United States. They have the um, rogues that were maybe even higher in price in this line. And then a lot of them went to sale. A lot of them went to the outlet even, and they were sold a lot cheaper than that, like less than half actually. But it's just, it's stunning. Like it's a work of art. It's beautiful abstract work. This one I got from a Facebook group and, um, but yeah, this one definitely was at that top level of all my bags and price. So most expensive bag would be this one right here. Okay, going to the other side, my least expensive bag is one I've never even used yet. So it's this one here. It's the Kodapai bum bag. And I think I paid $35 for this thing. It's super tiny, it's like mini, and I didn't even realize it was so dang small, but it's just, you know, another alternative to maybe a Lululemon bag, you know, because we see those all over the place. It does have like a small little top handle. Nothing much to really talk about. It's nothing to really write home about because I was a little like underwhelmed by the size of it. I was hoping it would be bigger when it came, but I didn't want to return it, so. I'm probably just gonna use it. The larger one I think is 50-ish dollars, but the nylon feels really sturdy on it, and I am gonna probably use this in Arizona whenever I go there this weekend, but, so yeah, the Kodopi, the brand name is, it looks like Kodopaxi, but it's pronounced Kodopi. I've seen a few people in my city using these, but, um, to be quite honest, I don't know if I'm that impressed with them and I would almost go to a different brand of bag for, you know, this sling pack style. So, okay, that's my least expensive bag. Okay, now my most structured bag. So there's a lot of structured bags in my collection. This one, I'm gonna just say is my most structured bag. Bandits are really structured too, and I have a lot of those, but I don't want this to all be bandits. So I'm gonna say my Rebel 24 here in the plaid print is gonna be my most structured bag. It's basically the structure of an LV Alma BB. Um, absolutely stunning. This could also be almost a little bit of a ladylike bag too, but yeah, simple, structured, gorgeous. I love the shape and the opening, it is quite, you know, structured and hard. If you're not into it, you know, these bags might not be for you, but it does have like a really nice soft interior microfiber lining. I think it's just so pretty. I don't wear this bag that much either. I want to though come winter time because of the pattern. It's just so festive and fun. Um, this came out in 2022 fall, I think, at Coach. So, very nice. Again, feet at the bottom. So, the most structured bag. Next category, other way, the most softest bag, smushiest bag. That's going to be my carry shoulder bag in the soft pebbled leather by Coach. So soft, so smushy. It's not a complete unstructured bag though, because you do have a little bit of base here that prevents a little bit of sag, but it does have a straight hobo sag whenever your items are inside. I have a pillow in mine, but this has the most gorgeous, gorgeous soft pebbled leather. And yeah, it's definitely my softest, smushiest bag to win that category. And they still sell this at Coach Retail, and it's great. You can interchange the straps, but I always just keep mine with the short hobo strap. I never use the crossbody strap with this. Um, yeah, couldn't say anything better about it because it's just great. I got the, the back pocket is wonderful for your cell phone, so. Okay, softest bag. 
And we reached the end in the last category. And the last category is, of course, it's got to be your favorite bag. So my favorite bag in my collection, hands down, is my Red Bandit, as a matter of fact. So I go between this one and my blue one. But if I had to pick one as my favorite, it's this. The sport red color is gorgeous. I love red with gold hardware. And this just takes every, ticks every box. It's a bandit, which is one of my favorite styles. It's structured, it's red, it's beautiful. It's just so happy. Like red to me, when I wear it with any clothing outfit, it just pops. Like I really, really love red. Like with what I have on right now, it just, like, this would look so fashionable. Like, I love it. So, um, red all year round. I love it. And I want more red bags now in my life. But yeah, this is my favorite. Favorite as of now. So, um, okay. So that is basically it. That is the video, guys. Thank you so much. Again, if you want to partake in the tag, it would be awesome if you'd like to do it. It's a lot of fun to categorize your bags and talk about each one. And um, I just would love to see what everybody has to share in this tag video. So thank you, guys. And I promise I'll do my whole handbag collection video next week. I will film that. It was just due to time I wanted to do this one today. So... All right. Thanks guys so much. Take care now. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.